Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I got a review for you today. Long overdue that it is. But uh, I've made this video a few times, never been happy with how it turned out. So, I figured the hell with it. We're going to do it in one shot and post it, and that's it. So, buckle in, everybody. It's probably going to be a bumpy ride. The knife in question today is the Microtech Select Fire. Let's see, overall length is nine inches, three and a half inch blade, five and a half inch handle. And it weighs in at 5.8 ounces. The handle is an anodized aluminum. You got the uh, carbon fiber inlays on this side. Might as well leave that open. The blade, very unique design. Uh, on this side you have basically the life history of the knife, make, model, the year it was made, uh, serial number I believe. The steel which is S35VN by the way. On the back side is very clean, nothing on the blade. And no carbon fiber inlays but you do have a very nice pocket clip. It does say Microtech there on it, I think you can see that. Now regarding the clip it is positioned for right hand only, tip up only carry. So I don't know, that may be a problem to some people. But also, know this going in. I didn't realize this. Uh, I should have if I'd have paid attention to the pictures when I bought it. That's about how much knife you're going to have sticking up out of your pocket. That's about an inch and a quarter, maybe a little bit more. So just know that going in. It may be a problem. It may not for some people. Uh, it hasn't it's been a non-issue for me though so take that as you will here you got a very nice very cool aluminum backspacer totally jumped out uh, these come in different colors they got red blue green black silver obviously I had really hoped for a red one but uh, I guess they're random or something because I didn't notice any different uh, model numbers so no oh well but the aluminum looks cool because it matches all the hardware on it and I really like the hardware. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> the hardware is just kind of a different look to it. And it is a, it's a double-edged sword. It really is. While I think it looks cool and it makes the knife look different than just simply having Torx bits like every other knife, <clears throat> if you have any problem and you needed to take the clip off for whatever reason, or if you need to take your knife apart, if you dropped it in the dirt or mud and you need to take it apart to clean it, you need a very overpriced tool from Microtech. I forget how much that thing cost, but you might as well have 200 bucks in the ready because it's going to cost at least near that. Very pricey. I, I didn't bother getting one because, you know, fuck it, I'm rolling the dice on it. Uh, this knife does have dual thumb studs, which, <coughs> excuse me, is... Uh, kind of got that 3D milling, kind of like some stair steps, which, <clears throat> excuse me again, uh, I really like. And actually, your thumb studs act as your blade stop. Now, it is a liner lock, and right under here, uh, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, I've tried different camera angles when I was making this video before trying to show you guys the spring but there's a spring right about here under the liner lock pushing the liner lock up which is uh, something different I've never seen that on any other liner locks on any other type of knife before and then if you can see that little notch right there in between the handles on the back of the blade that spring pushes the liner lock up into that little crevice up against that little notch. So you never have to worry about your your lock, you know, traveling too far and failing on you. Uh, you don't have to worry about it not engaging enough because like I said with the spring there, it's, it's going to force that lock into position and it's going to force it to stay there. So a really cool design for a locking mechanism. I've had some people, when I did the unboxing of this, 
say that 300 bucks for a liner lock is out of the question but you got to look at the design it's it's very different it's really innovative I, I think they got a winning design there it's got a hard detent in this knife and just very little pressure once you overcome that the knife will f uh, fire out of there very quickly they have an automatic version of this knife and uh, since automatics are a no-go in Texas, even though it, it can lock and you make it into a manual, I'm not even going to chance it. I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a knife that I can't carry. So if I choose not to carry a knife, that's my prerogative. I, I don't want the law to tell me that, no, you can't carry that knife because you could turn it into an automatic. So that's why I got the manual version here. But uh, you see the blade design there? I really like it. It's got a big upsweep belly here, false swedge up here, and like a reverse tanto right here. Uh, obviously it's not sharp or anything, but it's kind of got that tanto look to it just upside down. And the blade stock is pretty phenomenal. It's a really, really thick blade stock. Uh, I don't know the thickness of it offhand, but it, it, it doesn't taper until you get to the tanto part and then it just slowly into the point. Gives you a really good fine point. A lot of strength in this blade, uh, but for a folder, I would never suggest prying with it, no matter how thick or thin the blade is. Uh, one thing, when you close this knife, let me mention this. I don't know if I've heard anybody else in the reviews mention this. Uh, when you close it, be careful because it takes very little effort for the blade to come down and when I first got this knife and I went to close it uh, it damn near got my thumb and this knife is extremely sharp straight out the box uh, probably one of the sharpest I've come across and yeah you definitely don't want the blade to fly back and bite you because it is it, it, gonna hurt uh, let's see Trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to touch on. I mean, I really, I really dig this knife. I showed it to a, a, a couple of cop friends of mine. They're the only ones who carry quality blades and you know could appreciate. But I showed it to other people. They all really like the design. Uh, for me, definitely going to be a top five tier knife. I just really dig it. Um, I never really cared for Microtech. To begin with uh, but then again I was really only familiar with their automatic knives and like I said about Texas you can't carry an automatic knife so when I first saw this knife I was like that's kind of different and after seeing a few videos on it that's when I knew I was gonna get it oh but but uh, I just realized this as I was talking I didn't uh, go over the ergonomics of the knife if you you see that it's kind of a weird shape handle which I didn't think was going to be very ergonomic at all. But uh, it surprisingly is. You got two finger choils here. So you can grip it back. Or you can really choke up on it. And take you take uh, good advantage of the good jimping that they have on the spine of the blade here too. Uh, really comfortable in this position. You do have a hot spot right here on that pocket clip point. Um... I don't think of it, it's much of a problem, but if you got smaller hands, it very well could be. So again, that's another thing to uh, take into consideration before dropping the kind of coin it takes to get one of these. Um, I think that's it, guys. That's the Microtech Select Fire. My views, my opinions. I love this knife. Couple of little drawbacks, like the hot spot on the clip, the hardware. Uh, disassemble issue the pocket clip you know it's not very deep writing but even taken into consideration I highly recommend this knife if you have the means I say go for it so uh, that's it guys that's the Microtech Select Fire thanks for watching I'm out of here peace okay guys I'm back again I knew I was gonna forget something but it's worth mentioning, so I figured I'd uh, turn the video back on and just add this at the very end. 
Microtech also provides you with a very nice uh, nylon pocket sheath or a belt sheath, whatever in the hell you want to call it. It's got this nice buckle snap closure here. And the knife will fit very nicely, very loosely in there. No problems. Uh, you can cinch down the lock, make it as tight as you want with this strap here. It velcros down so it's not just flapping in the wind. The back here, this is a velcro belt closure. So you can attach it to any of your bags that may have some molly attachments to it or just pop it off and on the belt at your leisure. I have carried the knife in this sheath uh, several times. Works out wonderfully. Uh, it's just another thing from, from Microtech that I thought kind of made them stand apart. So, okay guys, that's definitely it. I'm definitely out of here. Thanks again, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.